Maverick. The very term health carries different meanings for different people. The competence required for an athlete is very, very different from the competence required for a dancer or a swimmer. In the same way, the cognitive and affective aspects, both required and capable of being assimilated by each individual, is very, very different, based on their gender, age, past experiences, culture, and so much more. And it keeps evolving and changing over a period of time. While the aim of any physical activity is the perceived competence of the act, the element of social acceptance and fun are very crucial motivators, especially in children. Learning is the relationship between three components, the student, the teacher, and the content, all set in a social bubble called the school, which in turn is part of the larger society. The student needs to answer to the why of health to get engaged in the physical literacy journey. The teachers, on the other hand, need to address the how by understanding that teaching is not an act of control leading an unfinished child to a predefined outcome. The how is a unique chemistry that the teacher weaves to their students to effectively facilitate learning. And the content answers the what, moving from a closed-ended multi-activity approach of segmented learning, which is fragmented and decontextualized to a more cumulative learning environment, integrating progressions and transfers across various contexts. The Simon Sinek's golden circle iterates that answering the question why provides us with the inspiration, with the desire and purpose that is fueled by our core values and beliefs. The why is not the benefit or outcome but the driving force or the motivation that propels us. The why of health is a dynamic perception that will keep evolving. Every positive experience over the years is our greatest asset in directing the answer to the why. Our feelings and our beliefs built through the repository of experiences and memories will guide our why. At Maverick, we strive to make every experience with us a positive one not using exercise as a punishment or treating the child as a commodity that needs to be evaluated. We ensure parents, teachers and peers learn to respect each individual's journey and help each child define their own evolving portrait of what health and physical literacy means to them. Now it's time to understand the role of the teacher and how the art of teaching makes a whole world of a difference. In the context of the society, parents play the role of the teacher and how they present physical literacy makes all the difference to the child's ability to adopt to this culture. The framework or the unique process adapted to bridge the questions why students learn and what is being taught is how the teachers and parents can help how can viewing our knowledge and activities through the lens of physical literacy add value to the child's life? That is the most important question. For too long, the approach taken to teaching has been instructional. Do this, do that. It presumes that the students are passive learners who need to be molded and guided towards a predefined outcome. Spend enough time with a child and we soon recognize they are active beings with their own insights and growing experiences. The role of facilitation then is to acknowledge the meeting point of a curriculum of knowledge and the student. Facilitation becomes about providing the child with the necessary knowledge and the tools to be physically literate, engaging them in the process of providing experiences and at the same time, recognizing that each child engages with it very differently. At Maverick, we adopt a mix of demonstrator come facilitator style.
for imparting our physical literacy curriculum. The demonstrator style of teaching combines video and audio segments, exercises that are demonstrated, and several group activities. On the other hand, we also employ the facilitator style of teaching by encouraging students to ask questions, use activities to promote self-discovery, for students to be creative, help develop problem-solving skills, which often leads to students developing a much deeper understanding of the topic of physical literacy. In my personal opinion, the role of the teacher in a physical literacy scenario is one of being a mirror to reflect the student to themselves and to help build their awareness. As mentioned several times, it is through the doors of constant self-awareness that the journey of physical literacy flourishes. Let me expand on the content, the what, as devised by Maverick in the next segment. Maverick.